The New York City Department of Sanitation has launched its first campaign in 15 years with messages such as, if you litter, you're garbage, which is actually dialed back from the original version. Your litter belongs in the trash next to your whore wife. <laughs> Police in England are now using specially trained dogs to detect semen at crime scenes. This replaces the old method of detecting semen, slipping on it. <laughs> at Virginia Commonwealth University, a professor is being sued following revelations that he spanked one of his students. It was the student's parents who first became suspicious when they asked, what kind of marks are you getting? And she replied, big red ones on my ass. So, <laughs> A group of hikers in Great Britain had to be rescued when they got lost after taking psychedelic mushrooms. More embarrassing, they never actually left the house. A 67-year-old woman in China gave birth this week. The birth set a record for most friction. <laughs> See, you guys don't realize it, but that joke took me like four hours to write. A new study Stop finds it. that the average child throws a tantrum four times a week. Weeknights on Fox. <laughs> well, tennis player ophthalmologist transsexual Dr. Renee Richards is writing a book about her life. It is tentatively titled, Tennis Without Balls. <laughs> a proposed bill in California would create an alert system for missing black women and kids. This is in addition to the alert system for missing white women and kids, the news. <laughs> Finally, in Burien, Washington, elementary school teacher Mary Kay Letourneau pled guilty this week to having sex with a sixth grade student whose child she bore in May. Miss Letourneau has been branded as a sex offender, or as the kids refer to her, the greatest teacher ever. <laughs> A new study suggests that the average man exaggerates the length of their penis by more than 20%. But aren't you supposed to add 20% for tip? <laughs> NASA has named the four astronauts it will send on the Artemis II mission to the moon. And if things go wrong, I think I know who's dying first. <laughs> An 89-year-old Japanese man has been recognized as the oldest male surfer ever. He truly embodies the surfing lifestyle because every part of his body hangs loose. <laughs> Apple has launched a new feature called Pay Later that lets users spread out payments for apps over the course of six weeks. And this has also launched my new favorite insult, Yo Mama's so poor she put Candy Crush on layaway. H&M has apologized after using a black child to model a sweatshirt with the logo Coolest Monkey in the Jungle. Worse, the shirt was made by the saddest child in the sweatshop. <laughs> I said worse. <laughs> yeah. Before he collapsed on stage, Michael Jackson sold some of his publishing rights for $100 million. Do you have any idea how much $100 million can buy these days? Five free molestings. That's right. <laughs> It's a deal! Sad story from the world of entertainment this week. Talk show host Ricky Lake had to get rid of her dog Dudley after the pooch became too aggressive with her seven-month-old son Milo. A clearly saddened Lake said, it broke my heart to get rid of that dog, but he was delicious. <laughs> An Arizona woman was arrested after she allegedly went day drinking while her five-month-old child was sitting home alone, like a loser. <laughs> Officials are warning hikers to stay away from a volcano in New Zealand, saying there are signs it may erupt. Signs like when locals heard the volcano whisper, oh, I'm so close. <laughs> it's getting worse. <laughs> A woman flying to Detroit said she woke up to a pastor urinating on her, which explains why her dream was about her being baptized. Finally, this Christmas, Santa Claus will be starting a new look at up-to-date shopping malls around the country. They will now feature black Santas, Asian Santas, Hispanic Santas, and even Middle Eastern Santas. It is all part of a program to make little children cry. 
Let's start in Pennsylvania with Dr. Oz, seen here telling the audience how many minutes he's lived in Pennsylvania. <laughs> A review of scientific studies published by Dr. Oz revealed that his experiments killed over 300 dogs, but eventually he got the recipe right. <laughs> Dr. Oz has refused to comment on the report that his research killed over 300 dogs, though it's possible he couldn't hear the question over the wood chipper. <laughs> But don't worry, Dr. Oz won everybody back last night when he gave a speech in front of Hitler's car. <laughs> Worse, he then got into the car and backed over a dog. <laughs> Tuesday was National Puppy Day, unfortunately at Subway. <laughs> Ugandan President Idi Amin announced he will undergo a species change operation in an effort to become a human being. If the operation is successful, Amin says he will pursue a career on American television. If it is not successful, he will eat American television. Doctors in Nepal saved a man after he inserted a water glass into his rectum for sexual gratification and it got stuck. But I think the man actually felt positive about the experience because he said the glass was half full. <laughs> Cup Noodles has introduced a new breakfast version of their instant ramen that mixes the flavors of sausage, maple syrup, pancakes, and eggs. The flavor will be called Mom Left. <laughs> Three years ago, an 11-year-old British schoolgirl put a message in a bottle and tossed it into the Atlantic Ocean. Well, this week, she was astounded to receive a reply from halfway around the world. Sadly, the reply read, You're 11? What are you wearing? <laughs> Two 81-year-old women have traveled the world in 80 days after the post office lost their ashes. <laughs> Police in Oregon are warning residents about several hand grenades that have washed ashore on a beach. The hand grenades were discovered when one beachgoer said, Mommy, look at this shell I found. <laughs> After his arraignment, Donald Trump spoke to supporters at Mar-a-Lago and said there was a very dark cloud over our beloved country, which is also what he used to call Obama. <laughs> While in the hospital, Michael Jackson had his room specially decorated with two huge photos of Shirley Temple. But don't get the wrong idea here. Michael Jackson is a homosexual pedophile. Is... Dallas Cowboys owner Jerry Jones is under fire over a picture of him from 1957 where he looks on as black students are stopped from entering his school. Okay, so maybe Jerry Jones was a racist back then. But tell me this, would a racist own a team full of the strongest black men he could buy to work on his field? <laughs> no, right? <laughs> a new report shows that female doctors over the course of their careers make $2 million less than men. Oh, that's just not right. I mean, female doctors? <laughs> Police in Australia arrested a man after he was caught at a bus. Yo, let's talk about a real issue at hand. Trash piling up, it's time to take the stand. From plastic bottles to styrofoam cups. Our planet is drowning, it's time to wake up. Garbage trucks roll, streets lined with waste. But where does it go? It's not a race. To the landfill, a mountain of despair. But we can change course, show that we care. Trash talk, it's more than just words It's about actions, the change we deserve Reduce, reuse, recycle That's the plan for a cleaner, greener earth Let's take a stand Trash talk, it's more than just words It's about actions, the change we deserve Reduce, reuse, recycle That's the plan for a cleaner, greener earth Let's take a stand Single-use plastics, they gotta go From straws to bags, it's time to say no Bring your own cup, your own tote bag Small steps add up, let's not lag Sorting all waste, it's not that tough Recycling centers, that's where it's rough Separate paper, glass and cans Give them a new life, that's the plan 
Trash talk, it's more than just words. It's about actions, the change we deserve. Reduce, reuse, recycle. That's the plan for a cleaner, greener earth. Let's take a stand. But it's not just about the stuff we toss It's about the mindset, there's no loss Composting food waste, it's a win Turning scraps to soil, let's begin Educate the masses, from young to old The future's at stake, let the story unfold For the sake of our planet, our home sweet home Let's clean up our acts, together we roam Trash talk, it's more than just words It's about actions, the change we deserve Reduce, reuse, recycle That's the plan for a cleaner, greener earth Let's take a stand Stop masturbating for over an hour Australia, where the police let you finish <laughs> In a new documentary, Pope Francis praises the virtues of sex Calling it one of the beautiful things that God has given to the human person. <laughs> Not the way I do it. <laughs> <laughs> Doctors in China removed more than 120 magnetic beads swallowed by a five-year-old boy. Wow. Wait till his boss at the factory hears about this. <laughs> so, a Virginia man who pranks people for YouTube videos was shot while tricking someone in a mall. Good. A 106-year-old woman... <laughs>